cities other than the designated cities mentioned in the preceding paragraph, having the population of 150,000 or more, meaning the population according to the latest results of the national census public noticed in the official gazette or the population census similar thereto, herein after the same, and the special wards shall set up a personnel commission by bylaws. The local public body setting up an equity commission may, by the stipulations enacted through resolution of the assembly, set up the equity commission jointly with another local public body setting up an equity commission, or entrust the duty of managing the affairs of equity commission under the provision of Article 8 Paragraph 2 to the personnel commission of another local public body. Black Square, Uj Unified Ideograph Aba, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Kalakan the Middle Dot, Uj Unified Ideograph, 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 Here Gone a Letter Number, Uj Unified Ideograph. Here gone a letter na, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Power of the Personnel Commission or Equity Commission, the Personnel Commission shall administer the following affairs, Circle Digit 1, to investigate matters of personnel administration and to have charge of affairs concerning personnel records and to prepare statistical reports concerning personnel affairs. Circle Digit 2 to make a continuous study on work hours and other working conditions and welfare and benefit systems, the system or compensation for accidents in line of duty and other systems concerning the personnel, and to submit the result thereof to the assembly or the head or the appointing authorities of the local public body. Circle Digit 3 to state opinions to the assembly and the head of the local public body on the enactment, amendment, or abolition of bylaws concerning the personnel agencies and the personnel. Circle digit 4 to make recommendations to the appointing authorities on the operation of personnel administration. Circle digit 5 to administer the competitive examination and selection of the personnel and affairs relating thereto. Circle digit 6 to formulate and put into practice plans concerning the position classification. Circle digit 7 to supervise and control the payment of compensation to the personnel to the extent necessary to determine that persons are paid, compensated, or employed in compliance with this law and with bylaws issued thereunder. Circle digit 8 to formulate over all plans for the training and evaluation of work performance of the personnel. Circle digit 9 to examine and judge upon applications for action concerning compensation, work hours, and other working conditions of the personnel and adopt necessary measures. Circle number 10 to render ruling or decisions on objections raised against the adverse actions toward the personnel. Full with colon, small Roman numeral 11. Dot besides the affairs enumerated, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, here gone a letter sa, here gone a letter re, here gone a letter ta, in the preceding items, to administer such affairs as have been placed within its powers in accordance with laws or bylaws. The cities having the population less than 150,000, Towns and villages, special wards and local public body association shall set up an equity commission by bylaws. The cities having the population less than 150,000, towns and villages, special wards and local public body association shall set up an equity commission by bylaws. The Equity Commission shall administer the following affairs. White Star, Circle Digit 1 to examine and judge upon applications for action concerning the compensation, work hours and other working conditions of the personnel and adopt necessary measures. Circle Digit 2 to render rulings or decisions on objections raised against the adverse actions toward the personnel. The Personnel Commission or Equity Commission shall be composed of three members. The Personnel Commission or Equity Commission shall be composed of three members.
The Personnel Commission or Equity Commission shall be composed of three members. The members shall be appointed by the head of the local public body with the consent of the assembly, full with left parenthesis. The members shall be appointed by the head of the local public body with the consent of the assembly, full with left parenthesis. The members shall be appointed by the head of the local public body with the consent of the assembly. The members shall be appointed by the head of the local public body with the consent of the assembly. The members shall be appointed by the head of the local public body with the consent of the assembly. The members of the personnel commissions shall serve either full time or part time and the members of the equity commissions shall serve part-time. The members of the personnel commissions shall serve either full-time or part-time, and the members of the equity commissions shall serve part-time. The members of the personnel commissions shall serve either full-time or part-time, and the members of the equity commissions shall serve part-time. There shall be an executive office in the personnel commission and the chief of executive office and other administrative personnel in the executive office. There shall be an executive office in the personnel commission and the chief of executive office and other administrative personnel in the executive office. Appointments of the personnel must be made in accordance with the provisions of this law on the basis of the record of examination merit in the performance of duty, or other demonstrations of ability. Appointments of the personnel must be made in accordance with the provisions of this law on the basis of the record of examination, merit in the performance of duty, or other demonstrations of ability. A person who falls under any of the following items cannot become a member of the personnel or participate in competitive examination or selection, except for cases provided for by bylaws. Disqualification Clause Disqualification Clause Disqualification Clause An incompetent or quasi unqualified idiograph incompetent person. A person who has been sentenced to a penalty heavier than imprisonment without hard labor and whose sentence has neither been executed nor become unenforceable. A person who has been sentenced to a penalty heavier than imprisonment without hard labor and whose sentence has neither been executed nor become unenforceable. A person who has been subjected by the local public body concerned to an action of disciplinary dismissal, from the date of which two years have not elapsed. A person who has been subjected by the local public body concerned to an action of disciplinary dismissal, from the date of which two years have not elapsed. A person who, while in office as a member of the Personnel Commission or Equity Commission, has committed any of the offenses provided for in Chapter 5 and been sentenced to a penalty. A person who, while in office as a member of the Personnel Commission or Equity Commission, has committed any of the offenses provided for in Chapter 5 and been sentenced to a penalty. A person who, on and after the date of the coming into force of the Constitution of Japan, has formed or joined a political party or any other organization that advocates the overthrow by violence of the Constitution of Japan or the government formed thereunder. White Star, full with digit 2, Ushgunified Ideograph, Ushgunified Ideograph, Ushgunified Ideograph. A person who, on and after the date of the coming into force of the Constitution of Japan, 
has formed or joined a political party or any other organization that advocates the overthrow by violence of the Constitution of Japan or the government formed thereunder. Competitive examination or selection shall be conducted by the Personnel Commission. However, the Personnel Commission may conduct competitive examination or selection, jointly with an agency of the other local public body through consultation, or, by a mutual agreement, with an agency of the national government or of the other local public body, and trust it to such agency. Competitive examination or selection shall be conducted by the Personnel Commission. However, the Personnel Commission may conduct competitive examination or selection, jointly with an agency of the other local public body through consultation, or, by a mutual agreement, with an agency of the national government or of the other local public body, and trust it to such agency. All initial appointments of personnel, other than temporary appointments or appointments of part-time positions, shall be conditional and shall become regular employment when they have served in their positions with conditional status for a period of six months and performed their duties satisfactorily during such period. In such case, the Personnel Commission may prescribe for any class a longer period of conditional employment not to exceed one year. All initial appointments of personnel, other than temporary appointments or appointments of part-time positions, shall be conditional and shall become regular employment when they have served in their positions with conditional status for a period of six months and performed their duties satisfactorily during such period. In such case, the Personnel Commission may prescribe for any class a longer period of conditional employment not to exceed one year. All initial appointments of personnel, other than temporary appointments or appointments of part-time positions, shall be conditional and shall become regular employment when they have served in their positions with conditional status for a period of six months and performed their duties satisfactorily during such period. In such case, the Personnel Commission may prescribe for any class a longer period of conditional employment not to exceed one year. 条件採用期間中の職員には適用されないものイコール1文言処分に関する規定に不利益処分に関する不服されだけ条件採用期間中の職員には適用されないものイコール1文言処分に関する規定に不利益処分に関する不服されだけ条件採用期間中の身分取扱いイコール原則として正式採用された職員と同様であるが一部例外が設けられている丸正式採用職員と同様の取扱い位置含む義務法令上司の命令に従う義務信用失意行為の禁止秘密を守る義務政治的行為の制限葬儀行為などの禁止営利企業などの従事制限など2懲戒処分に関する規定3勤務条件に関する措置要求4職員団体への介入丸条件採用期間中の職員には適用されないものイコール1文言処分に関する規定に不利益処分に関する副サルダテ資格競争試験とは特定の職につける社を不特定多数の者の,の中から競争によって選抜する方法であり選考とは特定の個人が特定の職につく適格性を有しているか否かを確認する方法である資格試験期間に属する者のその他職員は競争試験の受験を阻害しまたは受験に不当な影響を与える目的を持って特別もしくは秘密の情報を提供してはならずこれに違反した者には罰則の適用がある資格競争試験は職員の任用は採用承認公認転任のいずれかによるのが原則であるが例外として一定の自由がある場合に限って職員を臨時的に任用することが認められている米印臨時の職であっても顧問参与調査員職託員は特別職であり臨時的任用職員ではない資格要件イコール1緊急の場合に臨時の職に関する場合3任用候補者名簿がない場合人事委員会を国庁公共団体の場合のみ資格期間イコール6ヶ月
月を超えない期間、6ヶ月を超えない期間で更新できるが、再度の更新はできない。米印、臨時的任用の期間が終了した場合、そのものは当然に離職する。近く任命権者は人事委員会の承認を得て、臨時的任用を行わなければならない。期間の更新も人事委員会の承認が必要。職員の任用は採用承認公認転任のいずれかによるのが原則であるが例外として一定の自由がある場合に限って職員を臨時的に任用